Hello everyone, I'm Michael Phillip, your physical therapist, who for this video is going to be discussing the causes of lower back pain. Conditions in the lower back can cause severe to mild symptoms anywhere from your back to your toes and can manifest as pain, burning, numbness, tingling, weakness, and even up to paralysis. And the true cause of the pain or symptoms can be even more varying and complex. Now we tend to group any pain in the back region as lower back pain. But that doesn't mention the many causes. In this video, I hope to give you a better understanding of some of the more popular causes. The origin of your pain can stem from things such as muscle strains, pinched nerves, ligament strains, disc bulges, herniations, arthritis, or their degenerative conditions. What I want to cover in this video is the five most common diagnoses. The first one is a lumbar sprain or strain. This occurs when small tears occur in the muscles or ligaments of your lower back. You can cause this by stretching too far, lifting improperly, or performing activities beyond what your muscles or ligaments are used to. Symptoms usually result in diffuse stiffness and pain in your lower back that can limit your ability to move normally. This pain should usually only last for a few days to a few weeks. And you can also suffer from a pinched nerve or nerve impingement or entrapment. A pinched nerve is caused when nerve somehow is damaged or injured by direct pressure or compression and is unable to conduct its signal can be compressed by other soft tissues, bones, or even inflammation, all of which can result in pain, numbness, or tingling, and weakness that travels down the path of the nerve. Then you have the notorious herniated disc. A herniated disc occurs when the small, spongy disc between your vertebrae get damaged. There's a gel-like substance inside which can leak out when the disc gets torn. It can put pressure on the nerves, causing nerve impingement. Symptoms can vary from a feeling of tightness and soreness along the lower back, to radiating pain, numbness, or tingling, or even weakness down your leg or both legs. And then we have degenerative disc disease. Now this develops when your disc height reduces and the gel within the disc begins to harden. This is a normal part of aging, but sometimes this can lead to pinched nerves or even stenosis of the spine, which I'll discuss in about 15 seconds. Symptoms of degenerative disc disease can vary depending on the severity, but can be very similar to those of a pinched nerve or lumbar strain and is found typically in older adults. Now back to spinal stenosis. It also occurs in those older adults and seniors. Now this is a narrowing of the spinal canal caused by excessive bone growth such as arthritis, thickening of the tissue of the canal, or herniated discs. The narrowing of the canal can squeeze and irritate the spinal cord or the nerve roots where they leave the spinal cord, causing symptoms similar to that of a herniated disc or a pinched nerve. The telltale sign of stenosis is patients feel better when leaning forward and have increased pain with standing up straight or walking. Other common diagnoses causing lower back pain can be spinal deformities such as scoliosis, kyphosis, vertebral fractures, or spondylolisthesis. And then you have additional degenerative disorders such as spondylosis or ankylosing spondylitis. And then there's those less common ones such as cancer and infections or referred pain from things such as appendicitis, aneurysms, kidney disease, kidney infections, bladder infections, pelvic infections, and ovarian disorders. As you can see, there can be many causes of lower back pain and can stem from one disorder or the other or many occurring simultaneously. This can make it challenging for the person experiencing lower back pain to understand when to seek medical attention and for the doctor to exactly diagnose that condition. A detailed history, general examination, and likely an x-ray are the gold standard for your first visit depending on the history of the injury. If your symptoms are more severe and are specific diagnosis required, an MRI is one of the top tools for diagnosing lower back pain. Now you know what the various types of lower back pain and the symptoms. Make sure to check out my other videos on treatment and prevention. Till next time.